Welcome to Ufopedia. Please subscribe to our channel and click the bell button for future videos notifications. Today, we have a black and white video showing humans factory for flying saucers. Let's watch it then we will analyze it. Now the analysis. We have the same flying saucer photographed in the same place in three sequences in three different times and three different angles. In the first part, we see illuminated windows by the sunlight, not an artificial one, side by side, with a circular form. Something confirmed by a large rectangular, distant, separated window in the continued circular wall. Some others with a coverage. So we have here, a factory built over the ground and not under the ground. In the first sequence, we have human workers some under the flying saucer and one person over it, controlling or testing aeration or horizontal propulsion system. We see a stair clearly tends to the flying saucer main entrance. Beside it, a worker controlling something. We have too a huge spotlight or projector, with at least 1 meter diameter, generating light. And this is an important remark as the flying saucer is in the ground not flying so this light is coming mostly, from its own batteries or other developed electricity generator. In the second sequence, in the piloting room, a man over an artificial horse or a manual elevator based on four wheels talking to two men beside the elevator under the flying saucer. One with a white suit, the other one with a costume. Another man in black suit in the other side. Three white suits men are two under the flying saucer. The third sequence, shows the same elevator worker but with different angle. Three men do their jobs. The wheels of the flying saucer are clear in the left and right. Obligatory questions imposed here. The workers are humans, so this technology is mastered by humans for decades now. So why is not propagated widely in people daily use like planes and helicopters and even drones? Is there someone hiding it for their special agenda? Or simply it was destroyed or vanished, but who would and could do this and why? The second part of the video, shows the same flying saucer make a test of the fly. The three standing up wheels called two landing gear, are hid on it after the taking off, like we see on the planes of our days. The piloting room is covered with a transparent material, mostly a plexiglass. Meanwhile, we see shadows of other flying saucers on the ground came and go over the tested one we feel that the testing field is a crater, not a plane. We see like a natural wall formed by the crater. This imposes a question does this factory is on a dead volcano crater for example on earth or in the moon or other planet maybe? Give us please your opinion in the comments below and don't forget please to subscribe, like and share the video for future ones. Thank you.